Hey guys, my name is Marisla. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some favorites of mine that I've accumulated over the month of September, as well as some favorites from the summertime. I didn't really pick up too many items or products in the beginning of September because I was still getting used to school and stuff, but I decided to combine my summer favorites and my September favorites into this video for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it! So I'm going to start off with this Natural Brow Duo, and I actually really love this product because it comes with the gel on one end, and on the other end it has like the, like sort of the, the pencil where you can draw the base of your eyebrows in and then you can just sort of like scoop like the like the follicles in the beginning of your eyebrows up with the like the gel part and I think it's really worth the money because you can you're basically paying for like both like both kinds of techniques that people use for eyebrows which is like the gel and then there's like the pencil so I think this is a really great product when you want to like put like do your brows really quickly and you're sort of on the go and yeah I highly recommend this so another beauty favorite of mine is actually this Intuition um, perfume oil, and it's perfume oil, and it's actually by H and M. And I was just sh like strolling in their beauty department just randomly um, in the store one day, and I decided that I wanted to try the scent, so I just picked it up and I smelled it, and it smelled really freaking good. Because um, it's not too musky, but it's definitely like it ha definitely has that perfume scent. And it's just like really convenient because it's a roller so you don't have to like spray it like all over you and then you have to like fan it away it's just really simple you can just roll it on on the go anywhere basically like I tend to put it around like the pumps of my like like the wrists my wrist here and I rub it together or I would just like put a dab of it like around my neck area and I'm good to go I'm I'm smelling really <laughs> mature I don't know if that's the right word to use it it's not too strong but it definitely gives you the illusion that you wear perfume, if that makes sense. <laughs> so another item that I've been really loving in the summertime and a little bit in the fall is this Matt and Nat backpack! <laughs> I got it in this consignment store um, called Front and Company and it's located on Main Street um, in the Vancouver area. If you know where I'm talking about, it's a really good place to get some sort of like used stuff but also some new stuff that they've um, have and they carry a lot of Matt and Nat, which is this company that has like vegan leather products and this bag is 100% vegan leather and I got it in black because I wanted like a really um, easy color to match all my outfits with and this was the bag for me I could not stop using it in the summertime because I carry so I carry a lot of stuff like I carry my water bottle my camera and my wallet and just a lot of unnecessary stuff and this bag really does the trick for me because I tend to put a lot of stuff in it and it feels like when I carry it, it's like I'm not even carrying too much. Like I'm just, it's just like, it feels like it's empty and I think that's the beauty of this bag. And I just also love the straps and how easy it is to sort of adjust it if you want it to be too long, like if you want it longer or if you want it shorter. And the overall design of this bag is just really, I guess, different. I don't have a bag that has like this front zipper that stretches all the way out or like this. And another surprise that I really like is the side pockets where you can like put like a water bottle or like um, your keys or something because it's so snug that I don't feel like it'll fall out if you're walking or something. And overall this is a very, very, very versatile bag. I hope I can use it more in the fall but I have my current backpack that I use for school so I'm not too sure. A clothing favorite of mine, um, I don't think this is clothing but shoes I guess, um, are these Chuck Taylors and I freaking love them. I mean there's not really much to say other than they're just the classic sort of shoes to put on if you're just just literally for any occasion and I got them in the towards the end of the summer because I need a new pair to walk around my campus with and I thought I'd go back to the basics. I've worn Chuck Taylors for like all my life now since high school. I think they just start getting back into trend for some reason. I mean I was I was literally trying to find every color in high school because I was that kind of freak. I also have this in white as well but they're looking more beige now because they're pretty dirty so I decided to get um, the staple color instead because um, it, you can't really see the stains but actually I kind of see a few stains. <laughs> so a book favorite that I really love reading in the summer is this book called just Kids by Patti Smith. And if you don't know who Patti Smith is, she's an influential female rock and roll singer. She's also a really great poet, so you should check out her stuff. I've already known her before, so I've definitely listened to her music in the past. And this book is beautifully written. It actually describes the significant relationship Patti has with this guy right here, whose name is Robert Maplethorpe. This talks about all the adventures that they go through, um, taking place in like the 70s in New York, um, where it was like during the Andy Warhol era, where 
places like the factory and the Chelsea Hotel were still in works. So it was around that time. And they do a lot of mundane stuff together, like um, they go get food, talking to their friends, they're like always making creative stuff together. Um, just really mundane activities and I think she has the power, like Patty has the power to really just bring these activities to life and that's what I really love about this book because it's just so beautiful and um, heartbreaking at the same time because I don't want to ruin the ending or what how the book, what the ending part of the book is but it's just something that I I'm glad I picked up from the shelf. So a music favorite that I really like listening to in the beginning of fall is a band called Teen Suicide and I listened to them a lot in high school but um, I just recently found their album again on Spotify, especially this album which is called um, DC Snuff Film slash Waste Yourself and I've really loved it again. It really reminds me of fall and sort of getting back to school and repeating the cycle of having to go to class and come back and studying and stuff like that and sort of also adjusting to the really gray and like kind of depressing weather that we're having in Vancouver because there's a lot of rain and just overall just a lot of overcast of just large large clouds. <laughs> They're a lo-fi emo um, like sort of rock band so there's a lot of like shallow guitar playing and sort of um, distant voice singing if that makes sense. So I just feel like it captures the overall mood of fall um, for me personally. I am in no ways a great music commenter at all like in fact I am probably terrible um, so please bear with me when I try to poorly describe music off the back of my head. So the final favorite of mine that I'm going to talk about in this video is this light duster jacket by Oaken Fort. And it is just a really simple statement piece in my wardrobe that I really liked wearing like mid-transition from summer to fall because there's those periods where the sun is out but it's not too cold but you don't really want to wear like a giant jacket so you want something like lightweight and this is definitely the piece for me or even just in general like you can dress it up or dress it down which I love doing like I can wear it with like a pair of jeans or like maybe like a really tight dress and I can just go out and I feel like I will be pretty covered up and good to go so that was it. That was all of the favorites in this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to me. That would be awesome. Or just leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite article of clothing was or a beauty product or music, anything. Um, I would love to hear about it. I know this is my first video and I may come off a little bit scratchy or nervous or I'm just mumbling and stumbling trying to finish my sentence. But this is my first time really talking to a camera. So I just really want to do well for you guys. You can follow me on social media. Um, it's at nowhere dot know how the where is actually w-e-a-r not w-h-e-r-e -E, so don't make the mistake of doing that <laughs> i know my instagram feed is kind of empty right now it's because i haven't been posting too much um but i will soon so um i just it's just because i restarted it so i'm just thinking of content to put out there my next video will probably be a 50 random facts about me tag video um just so we can know each other get to know each other a little bit better and i can tell you about how i got my name for this channel make sure you stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!